Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. I think there's been a lot of apps, uh, a lot of companies that have launched in the last few years that have really focused on kind of expanding the toolkit for small, medium-sized businesses. Things like, thing, things like discovery apps, rating apps, uh, finding new places, exploring your town. Um, but no one had really focused on loyalty. Uh, I think it's a space now that a lot of companies are entering. Uh, it's one that, uh, you know, Belly is focused on, obviously. We do digital loyalty programs for small businesses. Uh, and we make that our core focus, driving customers back to their favorite places. Just do it. Uh, I mean, I talk to so many people now that um, say they want to be entrepreneurs, talk, you know, I have an idea uh, while they're working a full-time job or they're recruiting someone else to try and help them with it. And I think the step that most people that want to be entrepreneurs uh, have struggle, struggle with is just taking the actual step. Um, being an entrepreneur is not like entering a job or starting a new career. It's something you either have or you don't, or it's, I mean, it's, I think it's, this, the event is called Startup Life. I mean, it is a life. And so uh, the best step you can take is just to get started. I was with Redbox um, before I went over to Lightbank and started Belly. Uh, at Redbox, I started there when I was very young. Uh, it was my second major startup. Uh, and so Redbox, when I started, was a small company in one city. Uh, stayed there for about four and a half years as they expanded uh, across the nation. And I think, you know, I tried over the course of those four and a half years to stay very entrepreneurial in what became a large organization, working on new business, new projects, and uh, honestly bouncing from department to department, trying to find a niche where I could you know, stay uh, working on new things and keeping the stress, being an entrepreneur. I, I mean, I knew I had to get back to something small, uh, so I put in notice at Redbox, uh, talked to the guys at Lightbank, pitched them an idea. They ended up uh, giving me a chance, so that's where I am now. Lightbank is a, it's a venture capital firm in Chicago. Um, I was hired there and started there as what they call a founder in residence. Uh, sort of a non-traditional role uh, because it's a venture firm started by a couple of entrepreneurs. Um, so there was no real definition or structure as to sort of what that job would be. Uh, you know, I, I pitched them an idea to try to get funded for a company. They hated it. Uh, they pitched me an idea that they had. I told them it was terrible. So we liked each other. They ended up hiring me, but they hired me to focus specifically on an industry, on a space. Uh, so, you know, I think it's, uh, it's been a completely different experience being a founder in residence, uh, starting a company as a founder in residence, having funding and having some mentorship, being in an uh, almost incubator-like environment. Um, but, you know, I think being able to work very closely with Brad Keywell, Eric Lefkowski, who have obviously been, uh, have been very successful, and having them to lean on when I have questions about you know, little things in startups, like, you know, uh, healthcare and, you know, all these packages and all the contracts and all the little things. I mean, you know, I th generally uh, you can solve most of your problems as an entrepreneur by just pure hustle. Uh, it's some of those little technical things that I think really bog people down. You know, I actually, I just bumped into uh, Troy Hanikoff from Accelerate Labs over there. And uh, he reminded me, hey Troy, uh, he reminded me of a relatively embarrassing story. I was set up with him, introduced to him by a mentor of mine uh, from Redbox, Mark Ackler. He was gracious enough to take lunch with me, and uh, I went to lunch with Troy uh, and pitched him on an idea that I had. Uh, we were at Big Star eating tacos, I remember. I pitched him on an idea, and he just hated it. I mean, he absolutely hated it. He said, I don't get it. This makes no sense to me. But he said, you know what? I'm going to give you a shot. So instead of just killing the idea, he said, I know a guy that owns a shoe store across the street. Why don't we go over there and pitch him? So we got up, walked across the street. Uh, he introduced me to the owner of the shoe store. I pitched him my idea and crashed and burned. I mean, it was brutal. I mean, he tore me apart. Um, and so, you know, I kept trying to iterate on the pitch in the shoe store. It's like changing my business model in front of this guy. And it got to the point where I was begging so much that Troy had another meeting. He left. And I just sat in the shoe store for about an hour trying to continually pitch this guy. Uh, ended up scrapping that idea. Uh, pivoted slightly and came up with a product that uh, we now have live in 100 businesses in Austin.